Hello, Motor Rider World fans, and we got our hands on the brand new Bat UHP Cut Slicks. This is a sport track tire, so we decided to throw them on our test mule, the BMW S1000RR, a proper race bike around a proper racetrack at Red Star Raceway. A little bit of information on the tires. It's a 270k plus speed rating. It's a super tough steel belt radial construction. It is a street legal sport and track tire, and it comes in sizes. On the front, you've got 120, 70, 17, and on the rear, it comes in a 180, 60, 17, and a 200. 55.17. We had the 255 on test year. Uh, at first, we sent out one of the fastest riders to ever come out of South Africa, Sheridan Marais, to see what he thought of the new tyres. Shares managed to join us for half a day and completed 24 laps on the softer compound Bat UHP Cut Slick. As you can see, held up really well around the dusty and slick track. He managed a fastest lap time of 158.6 and was impressed. Before we let him go, we just got a few words on the new tyres. Uh, tyres are actually really good. Like Usually when I get onto new tyres or like a, a tyre trying to break into the market, I initially get a like an, not a confident feeling from them. But these ones I went out and felt just like a Pirelli. And um, I had lots of confidence and got to push a lot on them immediately. And then I had to kind of remind myself, well, this is something new. Um, got to like uh, find the limits first before pushing, before I have an accident or something. And um, yeah, I got to do a lot of laps on them now as well. And um, with Red Star being closed, obviously, the track's really dirty from all the rain and stuff like that, just dust really. And um, so it did, it did start eating the tires a little bit in the beginning, but now just with one clear race line around the track, they're already looking much better and feeling much better. Um, done a lot of laps and they, they, they feel really good. They just, when you start pushing towards the limits, then you start feeling a, a little bit of sliding and things like that. But um, yeah, I mean, with the harder compounds of all the top brands, you have the same thing. So um, I was really surprised and impressed actually. Um, I'd like to come again and do some more laps when when the track when everyone's riding and stuff and there's a clean line around the track. And um, but yeah, the 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 main things I noticed was they got quite a hard sidewall, so the the bumps are a little bit harsh. But other than that, I can't really fault them. They feel really good, um, so affordable for that price. I don't understand how they can be that close. I expected them to be like cement, you know. And um, yeah, I think, uh, like I said, I'd like to spend some more time on them and interested to f see what you guys think as well, yeah. After the lightweight Sheridan, we decided to put the heavier and bulkier test rider Sean Portman on the bike. And he had the same kind of sentiments. While the front end felt really good, it flicked in easy, it was stable, predictable and consistent. It turned in with ease and it flicked from side to side easily with no hesitation. But the rear was a bit stubborn at full lean angle. There was a lot of movement from the rear, especially at full lean angle. And with Sheridan, we started the tire pressures at 2.4 hot at the tire warmer front and 1.5 rear at the tire warmer hot. Uh, and we just think that maybe the hard carcass, the compound is the soft compound, but the carcass of the tire is very hard, especially on the sidewalls. And that combined with the low tire pressure and the very stiff racy suspension seemed to be putting a lot of pressure on the tire and it was just fighting back the tire. So a lot of movement there, both riders saying that. So what we decided to do is get Sean in. We upped the tire pressure then up to one six hot at the rear tire warmer and Sean felt a much better feeling from the tire. It didn't move around as much. Still on the full side wall of the tire at full lean angle, there was a bit of movement like in mid turn here, turn one at Red Star Raceway. The tire just moves at the back a little bit, which just unsettles you ever so slightly. The front, nice and planted you can really dig it in deep trail break nicely into the turns but the rear tire was a little bit of a problem with that movement mm -hmm. 
So up next was another slightly chubby rider in myself, Rob Portman, and straight away I had the same sentiments and the same feeling as both Shez and Sean, while the front end was stable, direct, had a great feeling under hard braking here into turn one, could really jam it on, the stability was there, you could throw it in and the front would trail nicely into the corner, good solid grip from the front, but the rear going into corners and at full lean angle mid-turn, just there was a lot of movement. Coming out of the turn on acceleration, the grip was really good, just that unsettling feeling going in and certainly mid-turn with the tyre moving. Uh, I had the tyre pressure at 1.6 as well and by the time I had climbed onto the bike it had already done about 40 laps around the dusty greasy red star track because there's not a lot of rubber down so it was starting to take a bit of abuse, it was starting to tear and the grip was losing a bit. But what I could feel was that the, the hard suspension setup from the race bike was just holding the tyre, putting too much pressure on the tyre, especially at full lean angle on that hard carcass. So I decided to come in. Uh, take a couple of preload uh, turns off the rear shock and do some compression there went out straight away and the feeling was so much better the tire was a little bit freer it wasn't being held down as much it wasn't just trying to fight that rear shock it just felt a lot better i improved my lap times by two seconds just with those couple of settings and that's with a very well worn tire as well the spinning was there it was spinning up nicely coming out of the left hand onto the back uh, short back straight here but it was all controllable like i said once you got the tire on the fat part it really did grip nicely coming out of turn so really impressed first time out with a bat uhp still some work to do on them like i said i really like to test it on a more stock standard street bike without the race suspension to see how it feels on there but for a track day rider or, or, or racer with lap times anything between two minutes to two tens or two fifteens around red star raceway this is the ideal tire for you at four grand a set they're selling at three eight for now i think they're going to go up to four four and a half grand for a set of tires you really can't go wrong the grip was absolutely phenomenal at the end of the day that is an 80 lap old rear tire and you can see that the, the the wear is really good the front tire was phenomenal the grip was good and as you can see the wear was fantastic so really impressed first time out but we got some homework still to do on them so look out for our second review coming soon